custody of their two sons. You know those presidential candidates, oh, they're used to having people hang on their every word, but as Jeannie Most found out, some of the people with the front row seats to their campaign, at times they seem the least interested. A lot goes on behind a candidate's back, and not all of it is good. All around the world saying For some, is politics is a yawn. No, we can do better because we did better. They yawn when they're young, they yawn Obama when they're old. Kid standing on a street corner. Sometimes they manage to squeeze in a yawn. And then I spent three years out running the Olympic Games. and then Just in the nick of time, avoiding detection. And sometimes they graduate from yawning to sleeping. The end of the day. It seems to be the end of this little girl's day. It's easy to find your eye wandering to the human backdrop, drawn to oddball sights like the guy in the twitching cowboy hat. 47 million uninsured Americans, millions more. Did we just imagine that? Make the changes that we know we can make together. It's normal for supporters to serve as strategically placed props. Though wearing your sign on your head defeats the purpose. Thank you! Even if it shades your eyes from the bright lights, who could forget perhaps the most riveting background distraction ever, the kid Letterman made famous for upstaging the leader of the free world. The high sheriff is with us today. You're worried about the quality of the education in which you live. We stand for the fair treatment of faith-based groups who will receive federal support for their work. A close second to that kid was Rudy Giuliani's son. As Rudy was being sworn in as New York's mayor, son Andrew blew kisses to our city and joined in the oath. I, Rudolph I'm William Giuliani. Sometimes what happens behind their backs does capture the candidate's attention. For instance, when someone fell behind Barack Obama Wednesday. And also to challenge ourselves. Whoops. Everybody okay? Okay. Then there was the guy who seemed to tune out Mitt Romney by putting in his earphones and zoning out. And you know how you can get really absorbed in a book? And save for our own retirement at the same time. It looked like it might have been a Harry Potter book to us. It definitely wasn't Obama's audacity of hope. Just like Michelle remembers her dad who had multiple sclerosis. This wasn't just a page turner, it was a sleeve chewer. Ginny Mo, CNN, New York. <laughs> well, we want our kids to read, but maybe not at an event like that. Too funny. Well, did you get our newsletter this morning? If not, please sign up.